Hello everyone, my name is Kai. So it's been a while since I, I made a video on equatorial uh, mode in, for C-Star. Now that uh, ZWO is gonna come out with a new firmware that will officially support uh, equatorial mode, I figure I might as well to show you my idea of a, a very simple and portable equatorial mount that anybody can get hold of and just bring it with you and won't be bulky at all. And you should be using your own original CSR tripod and a little mount like this. It, this is made out of uh, galvanized steel, industrial strength, heavy duty. It will hold anything, it's like almost a hundred pounds or more and it's rock solid. <laughs> Um, let me show you how to put it together. So first thing is um, we want to extend the lake because we want to be as, uh, have as big of a space of a base as you can. All right. And my north is over here. So what I want to do is I want to have one lake aiming there. So When I have my, my mount, I'm around at the latitude of 37. So you want to set a angle that is roughly 90 degrees minus that latitude. So which is around 54. So if you have a protractor, you can actually measure. It's roughly around this, 54 angles from here so I'm gonna put it in so it comes with a wheel. There we go, tight. <clears throat> so one thing I've added, and it's gonna be option, is that to make this rock solid and won't tip, um, I'm suggesting putting a weight bag. You use, people use this in photography or um, artificial light, light. So it fit perfectly, wrap around here. If we put weights on here, it's going to counterbalance the, the tilt that CSR is going to make. By doing that, it's going to be rock solid. So here, I have a few examples. I have a, a small weight. I also have a book. So I have two pockets here. Make sure to put both in here. Okay. Now the weight is distributed more toward the back, so that will counterbalance the the C star. So by putting C star. I see me put it here. Huh. Actually, this should be the other side. All right, so I've set it up so that my angles right here is around 57 degrees pointing north and I simply attach my C star this way. Get an extra leverage. So 
So a lot of people ask what orientation I should have this set up. If you're using Seesaw Elf, it really doesn't matter because we can always set the aim positions to have the to rotate the way we want. But the best way I see is that your LEDs and the light power is facing west so that when the arm moves up, it automatically go, uh, just by moving the arm, it'll go more toward the zenith. So for my sky, you want something high, and it'll be more toward, uh, a little bit north, toward north. As long as you have a clear patch of sky around that, that's what you want. So here, so that's, that's it. So I set up my equatorial mode for C star, rock solid. If you want more, uh, more, just put more weight. It's shaking here because my desk is not very stable, but if you have it a solid foundation, it's going to stay there. It's not going to move. Nothing's going to move. Let me show you how this runs. So if you using raising C star or you're raising the arm, if you're positioning this way, I'm aiming north here, toward Polaris. Angle here is 90 degrees minus my latitude. So my arm, if I I tell you what I want to do, I want here's my douche shield. I want this point as high as I can. Zenith a little bit toward the north. There. So this should be ready for um, pole alignment. And again, if you use CSR ELP, all that will be very easy and we have refinement GUI to help you kind of uh, adjust. And you notice in here, because it's a two different level axis to adjust, so you can independently adjust the rotation this way, just tighten by knot, it's very simple. Or adjust this to adjust the angle. And you can see it's not gonna fall because I have weight holding it back and with travel, you can just find rocks or something like that, and this be very light. And see how it moves? Let me have it rotate. All right. So in my opinion, this is all you need to get C-Star in equatorial mode. You don't need to buy fancy wedges. You don't need to buy fancy tripods because realistically, C-Star is not that heavy. As long as you have a very rigid um, angle that you can form and you can independently adjust the azimuth or the um, deck positions, that's all you need to do pull alignment. And make sure as long as you extend the base of your tripod legs, it's not gonna fall. Rock solid. It's very inexpensive. It's much cheaper than all, everything else you see. And one thing I also suggest is that in anything in astrophotography, less is more. You don't wanna have fancy parts or failure points, or um, extra knobs, or extra extensions. You want to be as simple as rock and rock solid as possible. And if it's light, that's even better. And the best thing I see to stabilize the, the system is really just putting a this weight bag to make sure it's holding on to this and it's off the table. So the weight is counterbalance this weight. All right, one last thing I want to show you 
is that is that I know there are some tripods where the thread is not very tall. So you have a thin, you have a short tripod, and this is a very thick piece of uh, galvanized steel. So that's, that's where the rigidity comes from. If for some reason that the thread is too short, I actually supply a adapter where it's simply, by doing this, there's a, this will actually go through, straight through here and it will lock it in in place. There we go. Okay. There. So you have a very, have a, one of those uh, older tripods where the, the head thread is too short, I have an adapter kind of lock in place. And then you can just put the same thing back. So that's it for very expensive parts. So what I'm saying to get CSR in equatorial mode, this is all you need with the weight bag and your already gotten simple carbon fiber tripod from Seastar. All right, that's all I have. Thank you. Mm.